Hey, what's up everybody? It's Charlie. In today's video, I actually wanted to do something that I haven't done in a good while. Wanted to talk about movies that still don't have Blu-rays. So, let's get right to it. Welcome everybody to Charlie's Cinematic Universe. Now a good portion of these movies in my stack happen to be owned by Disney now because they were once like Fox, Touchstone, you know, you know. The first one I would like to talk about is Ernest Saves Christmas. We have these three on Blu-ray, but why don't we have this one? I know Disney owns it now, but I would like to believe at some point they should. Just because there is a big fan base for the Ernest P. World world, I would like to see this get a Blu-ray. I'm sure a lot of you would too that know Ernest. And you gotta do everything if you're gonna do Ernest. And these two I'm surprised never got Blu-rays in general because you would think maybe because they're on, I've said because too many damn times. But the movie club, the Disney movie club, Homer Bound 1 and 2. I'm surprised these didn't get their Blu-ray releases at all. I would think they would, especially as a movie club exclusive like they do. I hate my eyesight. I tried to read the back of this, but I think this is owned by Disney. Jack with Robin Williams. I love this movie to death. Why doesn't this one have a Blu-ray? It needs one. It's time for an upgrade. Got another Robin Williams one right here. But this one I believe is owned by Sony because it says Columbia Pictures on it. Bicentennial Man. Why doesn't this one have a Blu-ray? If anything, just skip the Blu-ray completely and give it a 4K since it's been out so long. You would think a movie like this would have had a Blu-ray. Nope. Sony, you need to give us one. This next one is from Paramount. Frankie and Johnny with Al Pacino and Michelle Pfeiffer. If I had to give this one like a boutique release, I would go with Criterion on this one. Only if Paramount were to license it out. But I know they've been doing like their Paramount Presents line and stuff like that. So why not go ahead and release this either as a Blu-ray or as a 4K? You know I'll buy it either way. This one is officially Disney owned. This one's Touchstone, The Other Sister. This is a cute, adorable, sad movie too at times. And what I mean by sad at times, some scenes in the movie. Great movie. Very underrated in my opinion, actually. I would love to see this one get a Blu-ray. This one doesn't necessarily need a 4K, but a really good transfer to a Blu-ray would be nice. This next one is Warner Brothers, and I know that they still release, you know, Blu-rays of their own and stuff like that without licensing them out. But if I had to pick a boutique label to do this one, I would pick Criterion to do Stand and Deliver. Such a great underrated film in my opinion. I wonder how many of you actually know this movie, remember this movie, whatever it may be. But this one deserves an upgrade. It is Warner Brothers. They could do it on their own, but I think I'd be okay with the boutique label picking it up. I would go with Criterion. What do you guys pick? Now this one is also a Warner Brothers title. Lean on Me with Morgan Freeman. I love this movie to death. Very relatable, especially with the atmosphere I grew up in the 90s, with both middle school and high school. But if I had to pick a boutique label to pick this one up, I would go with Shout Factory, you know, for the Shout Select titles. Have you guys seen this movie? Another Warner Brothers title, Young Einstein. I could see this going to a boutique label, honestly. Maybe Shout. HBO Video is the one that actually did this one back in the 90s. Mom and Dad Saved the World starring Jeffrey Jones, Terry Garr, and John Lovitz. It's stupid funny. I would definitely like to see this one get a Blu-ray. Maybe Arrow Release could do this one. That would be kind of cool. What do you guys think? So these next few movies I'm going to show you are all owned by Disney, so don't hold your breath on them ever getting a Blu-ray. This double feature right here of Three Men and a Baby and Three Men and a Little Lady. You would think maybe the Disney Movie Club would do this one. Nothing yet. Splash with Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah. This should get an upgrade by now. Waiting to Exhale with Whitney Houston. Such a great movie in my opinion. Great story. This one doesn't have a Blu-ray, but Disney owns it. Disney even owns this one. Say what you will about Whoopi Goldberg nowadays, but back then she actually put out some really good movies. This one happened to be one of them. You may not agree, but I enjoyed this movie very much. I would like to see it get a Blu-ray. And Dangerous Minds with Michelle Pfeiffer. Disney owns this one. Disney, you really need to let that side of your department. Let these become upgrades already. We'll buy them. You would be surprised. That was for the rest of the Disney stack, so they're done now. This one's New Line. Money Talks with Charlie Sheen and Chris Tucker. Funny movie. 
I would love to see this one get a Blu-ray. Maybe a Shout Select title. Sony owns this one, Blank Man, starring Damon Wayans and David Alan Greer. This one's also considered stupid funny. I love it, and I'll still watch it until the day I die. But let's upgrade it already, Blu-ray or 4K. This is more of a personal want, Spice World. No joke, I am a fan, I love it. I would love to get this as a Blu-ray. It doesn't need a 4K, it just needs a Blu-ray. That's it, so let's get one. Shout select, pick this one up, please. And of course, this one's Warner Brothers. And this one, I could see them releasing it by themselves, but maybe possibly license out. Richie Rich with Macaulay Culkin. I like this movie. It's a fun one. I grew up on it. It is from my childhood. So I would personally love to see this one get a Blu-ray. We may one day, just don't know when that'll be. Or even possibly a 4K if they wanted to. And I think everyone can agree we need this one the most out of this whole stack that I just presented to you. Beverly Hills Ninja with Chris Farley. Sony owns this one. So I think it's necessary and proper that they do give this one a Blu-ray release. Maybe a 4K. And if you don't do it personally, license it out. I would say between two studios. See who wants it more. Shout Select or an Arrow video release. What would you guys prefer? Let me know down in the comments. And that's all the movies I'm providing for now. There are definitely more that still don't have Blu-ray releases, but that'll be for another video. So if you guys happen to enjoy this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to not miss any of my videos. But other than that, guys, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you.